Red, Yellow and Blue, 1985, by Diego Latella. Red, Yellow and Blue is located halfway out along Pier 89, on the right-hand side of the pier building, just beyond a cafe and next to the Transfield offices. This work is made of sheet steel planes chopped into shapes and welded together. Red, yellow and blue is on a human scale. Diego Latella's sculpture, Red, Yellow and Blue, 1985, is located halfway out along the nine metre wide concrete apron that wraps around Pier 89. At this point, the second level of the converted wharf building extends a few metres out over the concrete to form a covered walkway, which protects the sculpture. Like Michael Snape's The Change, this work is made of sheet steel planes chopped into shapes and welded together. But red, yellow and blue is on a more human scale. For this work, Latella has created three distinct sculptural pieces, each not much bigger than a person. The work sits just in front of the floor-to-ceiling glass wall of a chic contemporary office space. The three pieces have been arranged in a line along a concrete ankle-high plinth seven metres long and one metre across. Each piece has a circular metal base, eight centimetres thick, which sits on a raised concrete square that is part of the plinth. The concrete has been painted dark grey. The three pieces are painted from left to right, red, yellow and blue respectively. Although each of the three pieces is unique, they do have a similarity of form. That is, steel planes and triangles and other shapes are welded unevenly together to form the vertical core of the works. And this core is jammed with smaller shapes welded in repetitive louver patterns or dense clusters of angular shards. Higher up, curled planes with edges cut into zigzags swirl loosely in and around the works in a dynamic dance with other bits that have been cut into wonky triangles and random geometric shapes. Some metal planes have finger holes drilled into them. And you can also feel how Latella has welded his signature onto a plate, low down on each of the works. Latella says red, yellow and blue was created at Transfield's Seven Hills Engineering Workshop during a month-long stay where the artist ate, worked and slept there, generating more than 20 pieces of work during that time. Latella was born in China to Italian parents and moved to Australia in 1955 at the age of seven. He grew up in Woolloomooloo, not far from Walsh Bay, and became interested in visual arts through his older sister attending an arts course. He began working with assemblage, creating works out of odd bits of wood and metal. Later on, courses in printmaking and ceramics led to sculpting and a career that took him to New York, Paris, London, and Italy. Um, I've always been interested in the datas, the assemblage, and the way they manipulate material, the way they bring it together. You find discarded objects, you find material from industry, and it, it, there's a fusion between the two, and it, and, and it uh, revitalizes to tell a new story.